C Sharp 4.0 introduced the concept of dynamic types. Now, dynamic types kind of break the strongly typed paradigm of C Sharp. So we lose type checking and type safety at design time that we normally would get from the language. So I'm gonna tell you about dynamic types, but for the most part, you're not gonna use them because they end up bypassing a lot of the things that you're gonna want to take advantage of in C Sharp. There are certain situations where it may make sense to use dynamic types, um, especially if you're interrupting with old systems like comm systems, um, or if you're you know, deserializing or serializing uh, objects, then that might make sense just to simplify the code and make it easier for people to use your, your libraries. But for the most part, we're going to avoid using dynamics uh, unless we absolutely have to or if it makes a whole, whole lot of sense because we don't want to break the type safety checking that we get with C Sharp. But let's just look at how they work. So essentially, you can just create a new type or a new variable using the dynamic keyword. So I'll just use dynamic and I'll just say uh, name equals Matt. So now I've got a variable name Matt. Now it's not a string though. So if I hit name dot, I don't get anything. I don't get any IntelliSense here because the design time doesn't actually know what type this is at the time that I'm, I'm using it. Because now I can do something that I normally wouldn't be able to either, which is change the data type midstream. So the compiler doesn't know what data type that name is at any point in time. So it can't give you any IntelliSense. So you won't see anything like that. Um, and that's some of the breaking of the type checking that I'm talking about. So we don't get this. So if this were a string, we would know that we can't set name equal to 10 because 10 is an integer and we'll get that error here. Um, and now if we're going to use this in other places, we're not, you know, we're not going to run into issues that we otherwise would run into. So the dynamic keyword is there. You can use it. Uh, you can use it as parameters as well. So like, you know, like that. Um, but I would avoid using it unless you absolutely need it for whatever situation you're running into. So have fun with some dynamic types.